Hey, good day, good day, good day, good day, everybody. How you doing? Thank you for joining me. Just in case you join me for the very first time, I am your host, The Real Brian Glaze Gibbs. Hit the like button, subscribe, share. What I do is I talk about the good, I talk about the bad, I talk about the ugly. But right now, my story is like cautionary tale of what these kids should not do, what they should not jump off the porch and get themselves into. Understanding right now is, guess what? With every decision, there's consequences. Whether it's going to be positive, whether it's going to be negative, whether it's going to be good, whether it's going to be bad, whether it's going to be ugly. Like I say, hit the like button, subscribe, share. Today, what I'm going to talk about is this, man. I was just listening to an interview with... Shannon Sharp, shout out to Shannon Sharp, you know what I'm saying, the Shay Shay Room, and Mandizi, you know what I'm saying, Yandy Smith, husband. And right now is, it was something very interesting, that something that he said, where as far as right now is, like, at one point in time, he used his own mother as collateral. And when you sit back and you look at it, he said he wanted the drugs that bad. So right now was to get a large sum of drug from the connect. They want to know, you know what, listen, just in case, you know, you, you're trying to get slick or you run off with the money or stuff don't go right. We want to know where your mom's at because if we can't get you, we're going to get her. Folks, I don't care what anybody say. I'm not going to put my mother in a line of fire under any circumstance. You know what? I wouldn't even take that drug under any circumstance. And when you sit back and you look at it right now is desperate people do desperate things. So to me right now is. I know the way I feel about my mom, and hopefully he feels the same way, but then again, why? When they came at him and said, look, we need to know where your mom lived, and you utilize your mom's ad collateral, you know what? That's like, I, I don't know. I don't get that, man. You know, other than that, I think it was a very, very powerful interview. So right now, it's like you always got to give shout out because once again, like I told you, Shannon right now is be coming up with some great content and I like the guests that he be having. But like I say right now is to me, I love this interview, but only thing I didn't like is the fact that when he say that he put up his mom as collateral, you know what I'm saying, to get a large package of drug. That's a major, major no-no. So to me, don't listen to me. Listen and hear it in his own words. Go and check out Shannon Sharp, you know what I'm saying, the Shea Club Shay Shay, and you hear it for yourself because, once again, I am me. So right now, my interpretation of something, your interpretation of something might be totally different, but I don't care. Anybody who in a rightful state of mind is not going to utilize their biological mother as collateral to get a drug package. So here we go. You know, uh, I remember one time... Um, I was dealing with a connect, and I decided this is gonna sound horrible, but I put my mom up for collateral. What? Yeah, I was getting a bunch of I was I was getting a bunch of keys, and they was like, "Well, you gotta show me where your mom live at, because if you you run off on this, you, 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 we can't afford you to run off." Right. And I was like, I ain't had no intentions of running off. Right. So I was like, I right, I'll show you. And I and I took him, and she don't she had no idea. Right. And I took him. So if, if if that normal? I think I think at that point I, I had good in my heart right. to do good business. Right. So I didn't look I didn't think that you far. Didn't, you didn't think that I, I, I just yeah, put my mom yeah, life I mean, yeah, I, I really put my mom in jail. Right, and you know, and I never even told nobody that. Right. So it, that was that was when I look back at the decisions I made now, I'd be like, God, Lee, I can't believe I'm still here. Was that one of the worst decisions that you did that you put your mom up for? That's collateral? one of them. That's right. one of them. That's one of them. You uh, man. Sit, 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 back, sit back and think about it. Look what he say. That was the worst decision that he made, but yet and still he did it. Like he said right now, he had good intention with paying these guys. But once again, folks, you don't understand. When you get drugs, you don't know what you're really up against. Because once again, you can get these kilos of coke, heroin, whatever. But the difference right now is what if somebody else beat you for that package? Then all of a sudden right now, your mother is liable, okay? What else right now is you get busted? A federal raid, a rather local city state come kicking in your door and you lose it. But yet and still, you got your biological mom as collateral. So to me, like I tell you right now, I don't care. I understand right now you love that life, you love that fast money, and your attention was great. Your attention was great, but then again, right now, anything could have went wrong. Like you said, you was practicing good business sense. But if you was practicing good business sense, how are you going to use your own mama? You know what I'm saying? Your own mama as collateral. That don't make sense, man. And what I'm just trying to say right now, 
use everybody uses as a cautionary tale. Because if you get in that deep and you gotta use your mom, your father, your wife, your kids as collateral, guess what? You don't need that product. You don't need to do that type of business that right now if something go wrong, they're liable that they can get murdered or they can get hurt really bad. And like I tell you right now, is people do not play when it comes down to drug and money. So once again, the moral of the story right now is if you do it right the first time and you get out there and get you a good education, get you a good job, save, invest your money, then you do not have to get caught up into these legal activity that can cause somebody to use you or your loved one as collateral or your family member getting hurt, killed over what? Illegal practice, illegal business, illegal money. Crime doesn't pay. Hit the like button, subscribe, share. I am the real Brian Glaze Gibbs. Tell you like it is. One love.